Hey guys, I'm Terry Holland. I'm a trainer of NLP, hypnosis, and timeline therapy. So tonight I thought I'd jump on and talk about perfectionism. Now, I work with entrepreneurs all the time, and one of the biggest things that cripples them from taking action, from doing the things they need to do in their business every day, is perfectionism. And I totally get it, because I used to be that way. I used to believe that if I couldn't do something 100% the first time, like the, the absolute first time that I tried it, then it wasn't even worth trying. It wasn't worth attempting to do it. And, and I carried that around for a long time. I didn't realize at first that that was the problem, that that was why I wasn't getting things done. Um, I used to just think, well, I have high standards of excellence. And I started to realize over time that that was really crippling my success. It was holding me back from doing things. So video, for example, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even dream of doing a video before, especially a live video, because I thought, well, it's not going to be very good. I've never done one before. And now I realize that that is crazy thinking, because think about this logically, that how could you be excellent at something if you've never done it? How could you be excellent the very first time you try something? So it's kind of like riding a bike. Do you remember the first time that you rode a bike? Like the very first time that you got on, you're probably really shaky and wobbly and you probably weren't very coordinated and couldn't really figure it out. And maybe if you were like me, you fell down a lot. I know I did. And then over time you started to figure it out and you got better and you figured out how to balance the bike and how to stay on it. And the last time that you rode a bike, you were probably like, no hands. So it gets everything that we do gets easier, but you can't start excellent at something. It takes time to practice. So I was thinking about this today because this is something that I've had to deal with a lot in my own business, my own life. And it's something that I see my clients go through quite a bit of, where they're waiting to be perfect at something before they even start doing it. And it means that they don't take action and they don't take the steps that they need to take. So you can't start perfect at something. In fact, let's just get rid of perfect because there's no such thing as perfect. If you were perfect at something, well, there's just no such thing as perfect. Let's not even go there. It's not a possibility to be absolutely perfect. Because if you were perfect, there wouldn't be any opportunity for growth. And there's always ways to improve and expand and get better at everything we do. Otherwise, I think life would be pretty boring. Like if you just walked around all day and you were perfect and everything was easy and came freely to you, that'd probably get pretty boring. Nothing would challenge you. And I don't know. I like challenge. I don't know about you. So while we're talking about this tonight, if you guys have any comments or anything that you want to mention or any questions and please post them in the comments. So you can't start something at a perfect level. You have to start where you are and learn as you go. Excellence is from practice. You have to practice whatever it is that you want to be really good at. You have to practice all the time. You have to practice consistently and then look for feedback, reliable feedback on what you can improve to get better. In NLP, we say there is no failure, there is only feedback. So often people try something the first time, like trying to do a live video, and then they go, oh, I wasn't very good at that, and then they don't wanna do it again. Well, if you look at it from the perspective of this is only feedback, what worked, what didn't work, how can I make it better next time, you'll be a lot further ahead. And it's kind of like in sports, right? If you never step up to the plate, how could you ever hit a home run? If you never even take the chance that you might not hit the ball, then you are risking never getting a home run. And I think that the biggest risk, I mean, people are always so afraid of failing, but the bigger risk is you can't succeed unless you risk that failure. If you risk not hitting the ball, then you're risking never ever knowing what it's like to hit a home run. It's the same thing in business. If you never put yourself out there because you're afraid of what people will think, that maybe they'll reject you, maybe they'll say no, then you're risking never hearing yes, never getting the client, never closing that big deal that you want, never reaching the level of success that you want because you were too afraid to fail. 
you get one shot at this lifetime. One shot. And if you live your entire life in fear of all the things that can go wrong, you will miss out on all the amazing things that can go right when you just try to do it. Another conversation I had recently was about if goals should be set in your comfort zone. And I say no, because what is the, where is the growth in that? If you only put things in front of yourself, if you only ever try to do things that are safe and easy that you know you'll win at, where's the growth? How will you ever stretch? A diamond is forged under pressure. Diamonds aren't made by, by easy, just being easy and relaxed. And it's not like, I don't know, rocks or sand just lying around being all chill. It's under pressure that a diamond is formed. You need, I'm sorry guys, now I'm rambling. But when you're under pressure like that, that's where your character is formed. That's where your strengths will come out. That's where you have the greatest opportunity for growth and learning and development is under pressure. And if you never experience pressure, if you're always looking for what is the easy thing, what is the thing that I'm going to do safely and easily, what is the thing that requires the least risk, what is the path of least resistance, if you're always looking for those things, you will miss out on a whole world of opportunity, of growth. And that is where the magic really happens, when you stretch yourself beyond what you think is possible. When you stretch yourself beyond your comfort zone and you take a step outside of that and you risk all the things that can go wrong, you will find all the things that can go right. But you have to keep going over and over and over again and take the feedback that comes with it. There is no failure. There is only feedback. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope it encourages you to let go of this idea of perfection and keep striving to reach towards excellence. That every time you put yourself out there, every time you try something new, every time you take a step forward towards your big, crazy, audacious goals, you are one step closer to excellence. Now I mentioned earlier in this video that I used to be afraid of doing videos and putting myself online and because I thought I would fail at it. Now my videos aren't perfect. They don't have to be perfect. I stumbled in this one. I lost my train of thought and that's okay with me. It's okay with me because I know that the next one will just get better and the one after that will get better and so on and so on. And that's how I encourage you to look at everything in your business is that the next one will be better. The next sales call will get better as long as you're open to the feedback and you don't give up. Thanks for joining me tonight. If you have any comments or anything you want to add, please put it in the comments. I would love to, to chat with you. Thanks guys. Hope you have a great night. Bye.